Hi everybody, my name is Ben Sangrath and I'm here to talk to you about how Kami can transform your remote learning classroom. For this video, we're going to look at how we can connect and utilize Kami with Google Meet for live instruction. So teachers, when you're getting ready to start your Google Meet, make sure you have your Kami document open in another tab. And then when you start your Google Meet, you'll be able to show that to your students when you enter into present mode. When you sit, switch into present mode, you're gonna choose the Kami tab and you're going to present from that. That's gonna display your Kami document for your students to see inside of the Google Meet. This will allow you to annotate on the Kami document and it'll allow your students to follow along as you make those annotations. Teachers, if you have a touchscreen device, this will allow you to annotate with those drawing tools directly on the Kami document for your students to observe. This is great for math instruction, science instruction, or anytime you wanna make those drawing annotations. When you're done with the live instruction, you're gonna be able to actually save the PDF. What that's gonna allow you to do is save your notes or save your annotations, and then you are going to be able to distribute those out to your students, so that way they have them to review when the time comes. Lastly, there's some privacy concerns with recording a Google Meet. Kami helps solve those. If you use the screen capture comment tool, you're gonna to be able to record your instruction, but it'll be limited to whatever's inside of the Kami document, and you won't have to worry about privacy concerns of capturing student faces or sharing things that maybe you don't want to due to student privacy. Uh, it's a great option to be able to give your students a live video recording of those notes. So those are my best tips for utilizing Google Meet and Kami together for live instruction. I hope you enjoyed them.